Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to get you up to speed very quickly on the Ricoh Theta 360 camera. Now, that's one of these things if you hadn't figured it out. And you can tell it's a Theta because it's got lenses on both sides, which is a bit of a clue that there's something special about this camera. These cameras take uh, video, they also take still pictures, but their primary use is to put them on a monopod. You can think of it as a tripod, but it's just a single post. Put them on a monopod in a room and then click a, a button on a remote app and have the picture be taken on this camera in complete 360, which it does in, oh, just a second or two. You might ask where you would use that. Well, there's lots of applications from some sports stuff to events, but the primary use is real estate. So if you have something you're trying to sell and you want people to be able to scroll around, use their mouse drag and zoom, this is the device for you. And they're shockingly inexpensive. So you can hire somebody to do it, but you don't need it. So if you're a small real estate agent and you're uh, looking at uh, paying a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to have somebody shoot your house you don't need to you can do it yourself i have done it myself i took uh, about an hour to figure out how to get this working uh, just by reading documentation we're going to get you through this in about 15 minutes so let's get to it the very first thing you need to know is which uh, rico theta to buy now there are a lot of them as you can see here so uh which one should you get well the only ones that are currently in manufacture are the Z1, the X, and the SC2. And all of those are just fine. Let me go over the two things you need to look for if you're buying a used one. The first thing you need to look for is, is, is it 4K? Now, Ricoh has all of the specs up online, so you can go to the Ricoh360.com and figure out you know which exact model you're looking at and check the specs. But for instance, the beginner model, which is the SC, uh, which is already discontinued, is only 1080p. And you think, why would I want such a high resolution as 4,000 pixels across the top of my screen? Why would I want that amount of resolution? Because you want people to zoom in with their mouse or with their fingers, that's why. You want to be able to have people go look in that corner or at that grain in that wood. And a 1080p camera is fine, but a 4K is much better. And the price is just a few dollars different, so why buy the, the 1080p? Buy the 4K. The other feature you're looking for is whether it supports uh, working with the remote app or whether you have to press the button on it. There's a delay feature on all of the better models and all of the new models that lets you get out of the room because you don't want to be in the shot. Now what's the big difference between these? The SC2 is probably the one you want. It's cheap, it works really well, it's just a few hundred dollars and you're on your way. The X is the same device but it has a slightly better lens and it has a really cool little touch screen on it. Personally, I don't care. I don't know why somebody would want that, but there is an application for it, I'm sure, or the Rico wouldn't make it. And then there is the Z1, which has a massive amount of memory on it. I think it's 51 gigs, so that's a huge amount. For most people, again, absolutely not necessary. The SC2 will let you shoot your three-story house, plus the yard, plus the garage, no problem at all. Especially because, remember, these images that you're taking will be uploaded instantly, well, pretty instantly, up to the Rico 360 Tours site, all of which can be done uh, for the first 30 days for free, and we'll show you what happens after 30 days. The newsflash, they want you to buy a subscription. So to prove that this can be set up with almost anything, we're going to use an old Samsung S9. So here we have an ancient Samsung S9, just to prove the point that you can install it on anything. If you have an old Apple iPhone, it'll work fine. You have a Samsung, work fine. Old LG, work fine. So pretty much on anything. What we need to do is get the Theta app. And this is confusing because there are a lot of apps that seem to be the right one that aren't. So go to your store, search for Theta, Rico, or Rico Theta, either way, Rico Theta app. So I've already installed it, it takes a few seconds. We're ready to go now. So let's click open, agree. And it's now going to say, look, we need to get a couple of things set up, including adding uh, some permissions. So click OK. And do we want it to know the device's location? Sure, we'll let it know. Uh, it might be handy for tagging in the future. Click on the Theta icon in the bottom right. The Theta X is the special one. We have an other model. And by the way, this is the package it comes in. Nice little uh, package. This is a Theta V, by the way, which is quite old, but it's still a 4K and allows me to run it through the app. So that's enough. Um, there's also this little rubber cover on top. Whatever the cover is doesn't make much difference. Just make sure you use it. 
because if you don't, you'll find that this could tip over and you'll smash and break your lens. Pretty common thing. Just take a look on eBay at all the smashed ones. If you look at the bottom, you can read the number. Uh, no, you can't. I can't anyway. So the way I had to uh, read the number is to use a camera like this one and take a picture of it. Then I can blow up the picture and I can actually read the thing. Now, something to note is that this is case sensitive. So in my case, I have an uppercase Y and L. There we go. And let's select register. And now we're ready to connect. Three buttons on the side here. The first is the power, powers it up. The second button is Wi-Fi or not. And the third button tells you the mode. So you can see here, there's a little camera. If I press it, bottom button, it'll change to a video camera. Okay, put it back to camera. Now I'm going to press the middle button and the Wi-Fi button uh, light will come on. Just like that and connect. And the tool you're going to want to use to take proper images is a monopod. Uh, basically a tripod, but smaller. So you can see here, we have a little review on this. This is a $20 monopod that we bought on Amazon. And you can see this tiny little thing extends and extends and extends. Okay, so now it's time for some Theta camera tips. Things like lighting, placement, staging, things like that. So the first thing, obviously, clean the place up. Now, this is not cleaned up. This is a mess because I'm in the middle of moving, which is why I've got the camera. First thing. Second thing, uh, what you want to do is put the camera in a room that has a lot of light. So you do things like turn the lights on, open the blinds. Yes, the lighting right this minute, not good for me, for this camera that you're looking at, but it's pretty good for this. It's full in here. There's lots of light. So even though it looks like terrible there, you'll see in a minute, it looks pretty good here. Uh, next thing, where do you put the camera? Camera placement. So naturally, you would want to put this in the middle of the room uh, because it's a 360 camera. It will see all around, including this great big vaulted area that you can't see right now, but you will in a second. Um, now, there's a fireplace right there. And what you would want to do is put this dead center of the fireplace because that's the feature in the room. However, uh, while you do probably want to put it center of the fireplace, you don't want it in the center of the room because there's a hallway behind you uh, immediately and another one over there and which you're going to see in a minute when we fire this up so we, what you want to do is take your camera and put it in the middle of whatever hallways you can get because people don't like to look around corners um, they don't like to not be able to see what's around there so if you can put the camera in a place that it is uh, central enough like I like to put a dead center down the hallway and then people can see around the corner and in my case, center of the feature. And speaking of center of the feature, which in this case is the fireplace, let's go to the kitchen because that's a whole separate thing. The center of my kitchen is over here. That's not a good placement. You want the camera to be where the human's going to be most of the time, or at least where they're going to envision themselves, which is in front of the sink and in front of the stove. So I'm going to position this dead center of the stove and dead center of the sink. There we go. It doesn't make a difference whether, which way it's rotated, unless there's that light issue I mentioned, but uh, unlikely. And the reason it doesn't matter is because it's a 360 camera. It'll catch all of it. The last place that we're going to talk about placement is small rooms like bathrooms and places with mirrors like bathrooms. So in here, you can see uh, that we have a typical, you know, half bathroom and you might be tempted to put the camera in the middle of it. No, don't do that. It's too small. What you want to do is put it outside the door and you want to line it up with the with an edge. In this case, the edge of my door right there. And why would you do that? Well, because it won't show up in the mirror. See this? Right? So that will give the viewer a pretty good view. Now, this is too far out. It should be further in. Something like that, perhaps. So that it's... You can see around the corner here. Uh, but it, it can also see into the bathroom. Uh, and the camera is not on camera. And the very last thing to do is to get out of the shot. Nobody wants to see you, so walk away, hide around a corner, and then use the app. I've got my shot, and I can play with it on my phone, which is pretty cool. I can zoom around and do all kinds of stuff with it, but 
really not useful if you're trying to sell something. What you want to do is click the little share link at the bottom corner. For instance, share on Facebook. Yes, Facebook supports these images natively. They will just work on Facebook. People can scroll around and zoom in with their wheel or with their pinch and zoom. Pretty amazing. However, probably not what you want to do if you're a professional. You probably want to create a whole tour. So how do you do that? Well, not very hard. What you need to do is get the 360 Tours app on your phone and on your computer. So let's go to the computer first and just search for Rico 360 Tours. And you can see here that comes up with Tours. Click on that. Select Try for Free. Type in your information and click Accept. Sign up. And here they want some basic information about you. Uh, I'm just going to fall into the other camp. You probably are in real estate. Company name. Do you have a Rico? Yes, I do. So once you have your credentials for Rico 360 Tours, you just simply surf to auth.rico360.com slash login. And I will log in using the credentials on the account I just created. And you see it's come up with a sample tour, but we obviously don't want their tour. We want a tour of our own home or our own car or our own sporting event or whatever else. So how do you do that? Well, it's not a problem. Go to your phone and you can see we've got the hours here. Go to the store. We're doing this again on a Samsung, in fact, particularly old Samsung, just to prove the point. But it works just the same on Apple stuff. So if I have an iPhone or an iPad, it'll work just fine. Go to search and type in Rico Tours. And there it is, Rico 360 Tours. Now, I already have it installed to save time, but if you don't, which of course you probably won't, just click install and then click open and it will ask you for your credentials, which I have already signed in with. And just like the other Rico 360 app, we have to register our Theta camera with it. So how do you do that? Not very hard. Click the Theta icon at the bottom, click register your Theta, and before you go any further, make sure that it's powered on. Well, I'm just gonna press the power button at the top, and boom, it's on. And the second thing is to turn on the Wi-Fi, so, Give it a second to power up and then press the Wi-Fi button, which is the second button, the button in the middle. And the Wi-Fi light is flashing. And then we take our phone and we register our Theta, not Theta X, it's the other one. And in my case, it's this code. And it is case sensitive, as I said. And again, on this phone, it looks like nothing's happening. Nope, scroll up and you'll see register. If your phone's larger, you may not have that problem. Yay! Now to save your time and uh, avoid redundancy of things we've already covered, we are going to show you tours that we've already created and we'll explain some steps along the way that'll help you. So this is the house we were just in. So let's click on that uh, tour and you'll notice that each room has been labeled. And when you go to your camera and on the 360 Tours app, you uh, select next room, it will ask you what the name of the room is. And you might think, oh, I don't need to really enter that. I'll just call it number one or number two. Name it because it comes up when it loads, which it does automatically, by the way, when it loads into your tours software like this one, the names are really helpful because even if it's your house, yeah, things just don't quite look the same. Let's show you that. So let's go into the living room where we just were. And look, I can look up. Pretty cool. I can look, I can spin it. And because it's a 4K camera, I can zoom in. So if I want to see the wood grain, I can use the wheel on the mouse and zoom in. It's not perfect, but it's really good. The only space that you lose is down below. Why is that? Because that's where your monopod is. So yeah, that's a really cool feature. I can go over to the kitchen, right? Kind of neat. Let's get out of that. I can click the arrow in the top right hand corner. Uh, this is the, the hallway I was speaking of, right? there. Well, this is the, the space behind the couch that allows me to see down this hallway. And you can see my sort of YouTube studio there. Let's press the X and uh, get rid of that. And let's go to the kitchen because that was an important one. And you can see here I have it lined up because that's what people are going to want to see. And there, that's the orientation people want that they're going to want to envision themselves in your place or in the place that you're shooting. And that's including your car. And you might ask, why am I mentioning a car? Because this works great for car videos as well. Just put it between the front and rear seats in the where the center console might be, and you'll get some pretty cool shots. 
Now, if you want to put this into a proper tour, you can add a floor plan. So let's go to floor plans. And in this case, you can see I can add a floor plan and all it will let you do, and it just lets you upload a graphic, could be anything at all. I actually had my original drawings. So I can click on this and you can see, uh, because I have labeled my videos, I have them here. It's really helpful. So let's get out of that and let's go to edit tour and we'll go to floor plan. And you can see that I can drag and move the camera placements. So I can uh, say, well, no, the camera is actually in the garage. No, you can see here it wasn't. It really was at the front here, right? And I can just add. If I wanted to add another video or, a, or an image, I can just click add here and pop it in. This is really, really useful. And if I click on, let's say, the deck, you can see it changes this to red. So you can see, and yes, you can turn it here so you can see what's going on. You can see what that video is. You can see where the camera was actually placed. Pretty cool stuff. You'll also notice if you're a professional, there's a section here called branding. So you can enter logos and uh, your company name, things like that, which will brand this product, which is awesome. There's a walkthrough as well, which we can set up. I'm not going to just to save time. Uh, if you're a pro or you're interested in this, it's very easy to just go through. So let's click done here. Now, the most important part of this entire exercise is sharing this to people. You obviously aren't producing it for yourself, at least I hope you're not. You're producing it so you can sell something or you can show some family members or whatever. So how do you do that? Well, you can select share. And here you get a link which will give people free access to a web page that it is your tour. Really, really cool. You can also embed it. I have done this, it's super simple. So I'll click embed code and you simply take this code, which just looks like copy, and paste it into your website and it will embed it. And yes, it will just work. There's nothing for you to do if you're using uh, normal HTML. In my case, I'm using WordPress, works beautifully. And the last thing, of course, is Facebook, because yes, it plays naturally in Facebook. Pretty amazing. So look, we think that the Theta 360 product is pretty cool. Just make sure you're getting one that lets you get out of the shot, that one that me that uh, lets you not have to press the button to activate it, one that lets you use the uh, app. The first thing, the second thing, make sure it's the 4K models. Uh, other than that, the rest of it's pretty much up to you as to what you want for details. And the good news is they don't make ones that aren't like that anymore. So if you're buying a new one, don't worry about it. Just buy whichever one looks prettiest to you. They come in different colors and so on and so forth. That gets to a good point, by the way. This is completely unsponsored. So if you have any thoughts that we're making some money at this, nope, this is purely uh, out, of, uh, out of interest at our end. Which means if you like this video, please give us the big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. Super helps with the Google algorithm. If you have any questions or concerns, you can search for us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, Everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.